In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this model of a racing track. I got the design from this scale electrics track which I got from a free track design program you can download from their website. You can design your own tracks or use one of their many ready-made tracks. I'm going to use the track in a racing game that I'm developing. But you can use the techniques to model roads for any purpose. I will use the cube to make the track cross-section. I don't need it at the moment. Click the eye icon to hide it. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the top view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down and tick background images. Open up the panel. Click add image. Click open. Go to the folder where you have your racetrack image. Select it. Open. Drag to close the properties panel and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add curve bezier. Go into edit mode. With both points selected, curve control points, set handle type, set them both to vector. Select the first point, press G to grab and put it at the start of the straight section in the middle of the track. Select the second point, press G to grab, put it at the end of the straight section in the centre of the track. Press E to extrude and put the new point at the end of the curve section. Select the first handle, press G to grab and that should be horizontal and about there. Select the second handle, press G to grab and that should be horizontal and symmetrical. Select the end point, press E to extrude and put the new point at the end of the straight section. The next part is tricky so I'm going to pan, shift the middle mouse button and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press E to extrude and place the new point at the join between the track pieces. Select the handle, press G to grab and make that handle horizontal. Select the other handle, press G to grab and make that handle perpendicular at 90 degrees to the join. Select the end point, press E to extrude, place the new point at the join. Select this handle, press G to grab and make that perpendicular as the join is vertical, this will be horizontal. Select the other handle, press G to grab and make that perpendicular to the join. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift middle mouse button. Select the end point, press E to extrude and place the new point on the join in the centre of the track. Select the handle, press G to grab and that should be horizontal and about there. Select the other handle, press G to grab and that should be horizontal and symmetrical. Pan and zoom in. Select the end point, press E to extrude and place the new point. Select the handle, press G to grab and that one should be horizontal. Select the handle, press G to grab and that one should be perpendicular. Select the end point, hold down shift and select the first point, press F to make segment. Select the handle, press G to grab, that one perpendicular. Select the handle, G to grab, and that one horizontal. Zoom out with the mouse wheel, pan, shift the middle mouse button, go into object mode, click the eye icon to hide the bezier curve, click the eye icon to unhide the cube, select the cube, change the view to the front view, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, click the object properties button, name the cube track, it will eventually become the track. Drag to make the properties window wider. Set the Y scale to be 8 and the Z scale to be 0.2. I'm going to put barriers on both sides of the track. So I'm going to add a mirror modifier. But we're mirroring about the Y axis. Go into edit mode and face select mode and select the face on the end. Press E to extrude. 0.8 and enter. Select the top face, E to extrude, 1.6 and enter. Press S to scale, Y for the Y direction, 0.8 and enter to taper the ends. 
go into object mode, apply the modifier, and back into edit mode. The track cross section is going to be duplicated many times, so I'm going to simplify the geometry as much as possible. Select an end face, hold down shift and select all the end faces. Press X to delete them. Now the faces in the middle have been duplicated by the mirror modifier, so I'm going to have to select this face again and delete again. Select this face, hold down shift, select this face, X to delete them. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, select an end face, hold down shift and select all the end faces. Press X to delete them and this face has to be deleted again. And there is a duplicate face here which I'm going to delete. Drag to do the underside, select, shift select, X to delete, select, X to delete, go into edge select mode, select the edge, hold down shift, select the opposite edge, mesh, edges, bridge two edge loops, and there we have the finished cross section. Go into object mode, click the object properties button, now we have scale, I'm going to apply that, apply scale, unhide the Bezier curve, now the scale of the cross section matches the cars I'm going to race, but the Bezier curve is far too small. Press S to scale, 32 and enter. Gives about the right size. To wrap the cross section around the Bezier curve, select the cross section, add an array modifier, change fix count to fit curve, and select the Bezier curve. And that generates an array, the length of which matches the curve. To wrap it around the curve, add a curve modifier. And again, select the Bezier curve. And there we have the racetrack. We have a problem. Over 7,500 vertices and nearly 3,500 faces, giving a high polygon count that will increase rendering times. I'm going to show two ways to reduce them. First, go into edit mode and click this button, apply modifier to editing cage. Scroll down, click this button, use modifier while in edit mode and click the same button as above, apply modifier to editing cage. Because the cross section is not very long, it has to be duplicated many times to fit around the curve. This gives nice smooth bends, but is wasted on the straights. If I double the length of the cross section, it'll halve the number of vertices. I'm going to set the X scale to 2. If I double it again, it'll halve the number of vertices again. But the straight line sections become clear. This may or may not be a problem. In real life, the bends may be made up from straight line sections. I'm going to set the X scale to 2. There are a lot of vertices in the straight parts of the track that can be removed. I'm going back to the array modifier and setting fit curve back to fixed count. I'm dragging on count to increase the number of elements in the array, but I'm going to deliberately leave a gap. If I alter the X location of the track cross section, we can move the gap around the track until we get to a straight part. To bridge the gap, first we must apply the modifiers. Go into object mode, click modifiers. Before we apply the array modifier, tick merge so that vertices from adjacent cross sections are merged together. Apply, apply the curve modifier. We don't need the Bezier curve anymore, select and delete it. Select the track, go into edit mode, change the view to the top view. I'm going to trim a bit more off the straight. Go into vertex select mode, select a vertex, B for B select. We haven't selected all the vertices because limit selection to visible is on. Turn it off. Press B for B select. Select all the vertices and delete them. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and middle mouse button. Turn limit selection to visible back on and go into edge select mode. Now it would be nice to hold down alt 
and select a ring of all the end edges, do the same on the other side and bridge them. But I couldn't get it to work, so I'm going to select the bottom edge, hold down shift and select all the edges of the inside barrier. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, middle mouse button to rotate the view, zoom in, pan and select the corresponding edges holding down shift. Mesh edges bridge to edge loops. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Pan, shift to middle mouse button, zoom in, select, shift select, shift select, zoom back, drag to rotate, pan and zoom in, shift select, shift select, shift select, control and E, bridge to edge loops, select, shift select, zoom back with the mouse wheel, rotate, pan, zoom in, shift select, shift select, control and E, bridge to edge loops, I jumped ahead to where I've removed the vertices from the other straight. We've gone from a fairly high polygon count model to a lower polygon count model without much loss of quality. We still have scale and the origin needs to be moved. To sort those, I'm going to go into object mode, object, apply scale, object, snap, cursor to center to make sure the cursor is in the center. Now I could transform origin to geometry, but I think it would be easier to place the track if I move the origin to the center. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the track image file and this blend file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. I'll also put a link to the Scale Electric site Thanks for watching and goodbye.